Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can avoid a common Google Calendar mistake. It's one that I make from time to time myself, even after years of using Google Calendar. And that is including a Google Hangout link in an event that's not going to use Google Hangouts. So let's take a look. Let's say I'm planning a phone call for tomorrow morning with Isla and Mason. So we're going to have a phone call with Isla and Mason. And I go in to edit the event and I add my guests. So I put in the email addresses for my guests because I want to share this invitation with them. And if I leave it as is right now and I say, you know, call the school phone at extension 234, when I go to save this and I invite my guests, by default, we'll look in the event and Google's added this Google Hangout link. And for some people, that might be a little bit confusing, particularly if it's supposed to be a phone call or you're going to use Skype and not Google Hangouts. Uh, that can get a little bit confusing. So just click on the Remove button and take that out and save it, and your guests will be updated as well. Now, you can also remove that link from the start of the event. So let's say we schedule something for, tomorrow, for Thursday. Uh, we're going to have another phone call with Bob and I go in to edit the event we add Bob to the phone call I'm just going to click the remove button over here and my description will just be you know, please call extension 234 and save it and invite my guest and we'll see that if we look at this event now there is not a video link in the invitation so that removes some of the confusion about a google calendar invitation as always for more tips and tricks like this please check out practicaledtech.com and freetech4teachers.com